Hi guys, in this lecture, we will see how we can use the button group widget or how we can design the button group. So, let's see what is the button group. This is the bootstrap website and this is the button group. If we have to show multiple buttons in a group, then we have a HTML widget available, HTML tag available. And if we have to design that in HTML, this is how we can design. We can just uh, define a division and we can just give a class button group, role group, and label basic example whatever it is and this is how we can design and inside the group we can design the individual buttons if we have to um if we have to uh, design something similar in out systems we have the button group widget available let me show you i have created a screen and the module and the application and the i have provided the label as well let me just show you let me search button group we have a button group drag and drop here by default it adds three button uh, in the group let me click here let me go to the tree under the group it has added three if i want to add more i can add more as well so you see we have added the four button now let's uh, it is it is again somewhat similar to radio button right radio button how we used uh, how we uh, we have seen in the previous lecture so button group let's see the properties of button group we will have to provide a variable so that whatever button we are selecting so we can assign the selected buttons variable uh, or value to this particular variable so let me first create a variable it can be text as well it can be integer as well so what i will do i will just create an integer variable so let me right click and add a variable and uh, button 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 value okay i will just say number or integer okay now let me go here and uh, let me go to button group and i will just uh, this will be my button group and the variable will be button value okay we can we can define a uh, integer as well and text as well so this is my button value whatever value i will select whatever button i will se select according to the selection the appropriate value will be assigned then mandatory uh, if if we set it who then it will be mandatory otherwise it will not be mandatory so this property only works if we uh, put this widget under the form and when we uh, when we do the proper configuration we will see when we'll be dealing with the form widget and when we'll dealing with the database at the time we'll see the form widget and how we can use enable true or false if it is true it will be enabled if it is false it will not be enabled on the screen user will not be able to perform any operation style class you know very well attribute you know very well on change will handle this so when whenever the change will perform uh, to the any of button uh, it will trigger this on change event and whatever handler we are providing here that will be executed and whatever code we have written there it will get executed now let's come to the button group item one we can give a proper name as well so we can button one we can say that button one button two button two button three we can give a proper name this is just a name button four now this button one whenever i will click on button one or user will click on button one one will be assigned to the variable what we have defined this button value right so the value of button one will be one the value of button two will be two the value of button will be three and what value of button four will be four we, we can just uh, uh, provide a proper text here so just expand this this is my text we can say four whatever we want to as per our requirement whatever we want to set as a label we can we'll have to uh, uh, handle the on change event so let me click here automatically it has introduced one action and here i will just show the selection what user has selected we don't see the uh, suggestion because message only accept the text variable and we have this variable with the data type integer so i will just show that that's it publish many time we use this although uh, it is not common to use but in some cases when we need to provide the uh, button groups then we we generally use that 
it depends on the scenario okay then let me just show you fact so if i click here one two three four second third fourth you see simple so this is how we can use the button group widget that's it guys thanks for watching